Yu Yu Hakusho Abridged, Episode 13. I think this would be uh, the start of my, uh, like, the gaps in my schedule. As I got, like, more into college and trying to actually do stuff, you know, eating up time. Uh, this one came out, uh, let, let's see, 12 came out on Halloween. I believe this one came out December 15th. So it would have been at the very end of my first semester of college, uh, meaning all of November, etc., was, you know, me hitting the books and figuring out exactly what I wanted to do with episode 13. And uh, also in the interim here, I, I think this was also the point in time when I started working on the neighborhood cluck stuff with Masako and Vegeta. So that might also have taken some time away from this as well. Because, uh, yeah, the, the Neighborhood Cluck movies were coming out my freshman year of college. Because Team Four Star would start not too much longer after this, actually. Yeah, that's crazy how these things are really starting to blend together. And, uh, yeah, yeah, at this point, let me check my timeline, actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, in reverse order. Oh yeah, I had just revealed my face for the first time on YouTube. And was getting ready to go to my first convention. Not as a guest, just, you know, in general. Anime LA. It's a good time. Because yeah, at this point, uh... Uh, let's see. What's going on at this point? Yeah, because I, I had already been talking with Vegeta and Masako. Uh, mostly Vegeta, because he was closer to my time zone. He, he was a American. And uh, my friend Rissa. And, you know, everybody kind of got to know each other there. And yeah, just a little after this, we would announce that we would do the Dragon Ball Z abridged movies. Starting with Dead Zone and then doing World's Strongest. Uh... I don't think those are still on my page, but yeah, that, that too would also kind of slow some things down for me along with college. Because for whatever reason, despite Moscow being so much better of an editor than me, like, whoa, 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 not even close, not even close. I, no, uh, I was the one who was editing those. Damn. Uh, but yeah, just to get back to it Thir episode 13 came out in december so like you know pre-christmas post american thanksgiving and uh yeah I'm, I'm, I, I guess i was just focused on so many other things at the time but this was yusuke versus rando and this might have been the first time in the series where i actually like wrote out some scenes like just you know thinking about them in my off time not while i'm sitting in front of the computer actually working on it and, uh, yeah, let's get to some statistics, because this one was an episode that a lot of people had been waiting for. People were getting pretty excited for this one, because it's the climax of an arc. Uh, it currently sits at... 595,000 views and uh, 5,000 likes. Solid numbers. Solid numbers. And again, quick reminder, if these videos get up to... 20,000 views and 2,000 likes. We'll start thinking about potentially doing some dark tournament stuff as well. I'm going to sort by newest this time. Because I know those of you out there that... You, you, you like when I read your comments, right? I read the ones in this one. I'll reply. Sometimes. But let's take a look at the fresh ones. The freshies on here. DMX was great in Exit Wounds and Romeo Must Die. Ah, yes. Discussing DMX, which is essentially what my rando voice was. It was just my awful DMX impression. Uh, Rip X. But uh, honestly, I, I don't think I've seen any of his movies. So I, I cannot vouch for either of that. What You, know, you let me know. Are, are, are any of DMX's acting portfolio worth checking out? I, apparently Exit Wounds and Romeo Must Die are on uh, Quinn Kelly 1441's list to check out. 
Darkness 3031. You know I love the original Yu Yu Hakusho, but this one, uh, this is one of the few abridged series I uh, have seen that I like. Love you, Lanny. Oh, much love back. Appreciate it. And we got uh, Dalen Lewin 8324. Probably absolutely butchered that, but it's okay. My name gets butchered all the time. I I feel the pain I have inflicted upon you. When you get to this episode in your commentary, please do an impromptu rando rap at the end. I want to see if you still got it. Motherfucker, I never had it. What can I have what I never had? Like, how, how, how can I ha still have what I've never had? I'll try. But I will fail. And that's on me. Oh, let's crack to it, shall we? After weeks of waiting, actually a month and a half, I'm a fucking filthy ass liar. I present. Don't know if I'm gonna have to mute this one, but I probably might. Oh, wee wee! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, wee wee! Wow, 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 wow. Wee, wee, wee. Wow, wow. Oh, would you two stop standing there and start f***ing fighting? Oh, I went, I, I, I don't even do karate. Just straight up Sergio Argento. Actually, no, he was the director. Who did the music in all of those movies? My old roommate would like kick me in the ass for not knowing. He's a massive film buff. No, this is not the new opening theme. Good, just letting everybody All know. Alright, dog, time for you to learn that you should never f with Rando. Could you quit referring to yourself in the third person? It's annoying as hell. What you gonna do about it, boy? You gonna get up in Rando's face? Gonna throw some punches at Rando? Gonna knock Rando That's out? That's the plan, yeah. And get your bitch ass away from Rando. Alright, you asked for it. Eat fists, you cocky son of a bitch! And Yusuke answers Rando's taunt with a series of quick punches, which seem to be having little if no effect. Okay, so... I can't... like, I, I actually did this earlier in the series, and I didn't point it out. I'm, I'm, I'm a little sad I didn't point it out at the time when, like, Koenmo was playing Halo. But I learned how to do picture-in-picture. Picture. It's not perfect. It's not great. So I don't know if that's actually something Koenmo was watching and I just added a DTV sticker onto it, or if that was something I had pre-rendered and then picture-in-pictured it. Come to think of it, I might have been using uh, Adobe by this point. I don't remember when I made the switch. But Adobe, uh, while more confusing up front in terms of like how many tools it has, uh, definitely offered me more freedom in terms of what I could actually put to the screen. And on the audio timeline. Go, Yusuke! Kick his ass, dude! Oh, uh, sir, I really don't think Yusuke's going to win. Mellow out, man. Remember, I chose him as spirit detective for a reason. Actually, sir, the only reason you made him spirit detective was because he just happened to die the day you thought it would be fun to have another spirit detective. And we both know how well the other two came out. All right, dudes, if you guys think I'm wrong, then I'll just prove how much faith I have in Yusuke. I'll take any bets you guys have against him. Fifty bucks. A hundred dollars. Five hundred on Rando. Dude. Harsh. And here's the kill! That's a dub line. I really like that dub line, so I decided to throw it in there. <laughs> Mostly because it's kind of funny because Rando's absolutely no-selling his entire barrage. So you just going like, and here's the kill! <laughs> just punching him like, ha ha! Gotcha now! Fool. That ought to learn ya. <laughs> Alright, plan B. Look! A distraction! What? Where? <laughs> Man, what the hell are you talking about? There ain't nothing there! Really? I could have sworn it was right there. Wait a minute. I was supposed to do something. Run! That was it. Ah. F I was very proud of that joke when I came up with it. Look! A distraction! Huh? I don't suppose you'd fall for that again, would you? I'll take that as a no. I think it's about time you got acquainted with a few more of my techniques. He spits out the webs. You know, I know whatever the hell this is is probably gonna hurt, but... Ah, uh, what the hell, I'm curious. <laughs> what exactly? 
my only explanation as to why he doesn't move. What exactly is Rando doing, Master Genkai? It's an archaic technique called tentacle fiber. No doubt he learned it from a very old and perverted psychic. Mm. Wait, what did you just call it? I don't like where this is going. Another sound effect that I made. Uh, it was literally just me going, and then adding a reverb. Why do I get the feeling I'm in a fan fiction that's gone horribly wrong? Or horribly Maybe right. A little better, I guess. Uh, what say we take this technique for a spin? Another VOD, oh, mute incoming. Baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, oh. round, pound. <laughs> I think I made like a 10 minute loop of that just because I, I found one chunk that I could just continuously loop. Probably makes for a good gif. There's probably a gif of that out there somewhere. Yo, dog, how's it hanging? Damn it, that has to be the worst pun I've ever heard. And I thought, let's take this technique for a spin was pretty damn hard to beat. <laughs> I think this was the first time I tried to mimic, like in character, mimic a voice that I was also already doing. I, I played with the idea of potentially just having Yusuke do an exact sounding rando just because, you know, the gag is I play literally everybody in this goddamn show already. But then I, I had nowhere to go with that bit and it just kind of like worked itself into a corner. So I'm like, ah, just go back. I'll just have Yusuke do a poor facsimile. You have a pretty damn weird way of coping with your own imminent death. Now excuse me while I bust this rhyme. Oh, by all means, go ahead. Just give me another reason to want to kill you. That's right, laugh it up, bitch. You're messing with Rando, Demon World's number one superhuman commando. Prepare to be beat by this demon OG. Now let's meet the fish from the Demon World Sea. Eh, this is forced, but I... And yeah, I definitely had to write that. What the hell are those? Oh, the hate you fish. Like They're fish from the Demon World. They're called hate fish. Hate fish, wow, what a clever name. So I guess Kill Trout and Death Bass were taken. <laughs> you can tell that I really love Mystery Science Theater 3000. Because a lot of Yusuke's jabs are just me taking something from the dub and then him just riffing on it. Shut up, sucker. I didn't name him. Oh, and for some reason I summoned this thing too. Ah, oh, what the hell. <laughs> I'm twisting the fuck out of a bottle to make that sound. Oh, and gargling. Why the hell did you do that? <laughs> okay, so I I knew I I I guess I just had the fish going hate 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 the whole time. I forgot that I had one just go fish. That got me off guard. I'm glad I'm glad this stuff can still make me chuckle, as opposed to you know just cringe. I don't know, sometimes you just feel like killing something. Speaking of which... That pose. You don't think Rando learned how to use the spirit gun just by watching Yusuke, do you? <laughs> oh yes, because Lord knows firing a beam of energy out of your finger is an oh-so-difficult technique to learn on one's own. Time to bust a spirit cap in your ass! Um, you missed. I know, sucker! It was a warning shot! A warning for what? I already know you're trying to kill me. Shut the hell up! Those warning shots too? I said shut up, cracker! Oof. Got him that time! There, uh, see? I was aiming for the branch! Sure you- <laughs> So, we're just going to let him get eaten then? Screw that, I'm not going in there. I hate hate fish. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not trying to be funny, I really do, huh? What the hell? Kuwabara, what the hell are you doing in my head? Shut the hell up, you're a messy. Now it's my turn to mess with your brain. That's kind of what I'm afraid of. As you can see, I'm kind of in a compromising position here. You know you're a messy. You're always calling me gay. Well, I'm starting to think that maybe you're the gay one. Ah, I got him! What did you just say? Did I stutter? Seriously, look at yourself. How many girls do you actually talk to? Not to mention you hang around with that hot blue-haired chick, and then you stick with Keiko. No straight man would be caught dead with Keiko. Why do I hate Keiko so much? 
Like, I, I mean, I guess it's just the easy joke, but like, even looking back at this, I don't get it. Keiko was loyal as shit. Like, Keiko is great. Like, you know, she, 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 like, tried to keep Yusuke on the straight and narrow, but she was literally just like, you know. God damn. I have no excuse for this. Zero excuse. I, I am my number one enemy in this Keiko disrespect. And yet, if I ever do do Dark Tournament stuff, I guess I have to continue on it. Maybe it's the fact that, like, at the Dark Tournament, when Yusuke notices that, like, Keiko's, fi like, you know, she's got ass, he's like, oh, okay, no, I'm, 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 about, I'm about this now. I don't know. I'm a number one critic on this one. <laughs> that said, Botan is absolutely a cutie. Kuwabara, I'm not gay. Hate? Guess you don't think it's so funny either, huh? Okay, now I'm just fucking pissed. All right, boy, kiss my ass. Bang. Hey, what? Rando. Huh? Your aim still sucks. Oh yeah! Finger bang! Oh, 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 damn it! No. I really like the way that resolves. Honestly, like the the idea that Rando's blast is more powerful, takes up like a wider range, but Yusuke's is more concentrated and fires through. It's actually what I kind of wished. Um, that, like, you know, how in Dragon Ball, the Dodon Ray is supposed to be the counter to the Kamehameha. Since it's a more, like, precise beam, I always kind of hoped that that was the way it was supposed to work, where you fire the Dodon Ray at the Kamehameha, and it just pierces through the beam, and then goes, like, you know, hits its target. Makes for a more interesting assassination technique. Anyway, that's, I don't know. My little bit of... Fan wankery. I just like how that resolved in the anime. Well, thank God that's over. No! Shut there, up! There, I knocked his bitch ass out. Now declare me the winner so I can learn your damn technique. No. What, bitch? Why the hell not? I just won your stupid ass tournament. Simple, because you're fucking evil. Then I guess I'm gonna bust a cap in your bitch ass. Bring it on, motherfucker. <laughs> So I guess I changed the entire end of that, where like Yusuke was supposed to like Rando is supposed to shrink or something like. Uh, yeah, that's that's how he loses because Yusuke has algae in his ears. He can't hear the shrinking chant. It never made sense to me that Genkai would just let him be her student. You know, like that that just it doesn't seem right because the entire time she's absolutely the most powerful person there. I mean, she, she kind of, you know, MVPs the Dark Tournament for a hot minute. So, yeah, she could absolutely take Rando. So, I guess that's why... I, I guess I just decided to do that. Would I change... Like, would I have gone a different direction these days? I honestly don't know. One epic battle later, though. That, you know, I'd, I'd probably change the text. Oh, oh, man. What happened? Where's Rando? Did I win? Sure, why not? Yep, that's cause I kick ass. Well, time for me to head home. No, now you begin your six months of training under me. Uh, six months? Yep, six Very months. anime sound. Oh god, why me? <sighs> and so ends DTV's coverage of the Genkai Tournament. Now stay tuned for an all new episode of the Blue Collar Comedy Beat. A teaser! Here on DTV. It's all going according to plan. Apparently. You know, I can't help but think that we're forgetting something. As God is my witness, I will have my revenge. 
The whole world will know the name Chin And I cut him off! <laughs> I, I don't know if I meant to cut him off. But if I did, good. If I didn't, funnier. Actually funnier. I'm trying to remember why I leaned so heavy on Chin Po. I, I, I think it's because uh, back, you know, uh, in my late night Skype conversations with Vegeta3986, uh, again, he, he has a massive love for, like, side characters that get no love within the fandom. So when I actually, like, you know, started messing around with Chin Po, he's like, I like that. I like that a lot. So th that probably influenced my pushing of Chin Po super hard, which is why he would also show up in the movie. Uh, which, again, let me know if you want me to do this stuff in chronological order. Uh, whether I do it, you know, movie in the middle of the next arc or after the next arc. Because I definitely want the the Poltergeist Report movie to be its own little chunk. So, yeah. Uh, episode 13. Rando's gone. Done with Rando. No more of that. My my bad DMX impression is out of the way. Let's see. I oh god, I did. I I said I would do a freestyle rando rap at the end of this. Now Rando's dead. Get him out of my head. Move on to another episode so that I can make my bread. Click on the like. Click subscribe. Maybe the dark tournament will happen sometime. Cause I'm Rando! I said I'm Rando! Better find a good beat for this shit. Otherwise, why am I even doing it? I think a part of my soul left me.